So today we'll take a look at a few fun ways we can use the resonators module from Cella. We have four resonators that we can excite and we can tune individually. And probably the most common um, signal to use for something like this is triggers, right? So here I have the trigger sequencer from Secret Cell. If I connect it, right, maybe a red cable because it's audio in this case. I take the mix all the way down, right? We basically get triggers. But if I take the mix all the way up, so now we hear just the resonators. Right, we get a string like sound. And again, we can tune them individually. And we can even use an external um, signal, right? We have four um, frequency inputs or pitch input. And the first one is even polyphonic. So we can use also chords. Here I have Harmony 2 from Squinky Labs. Right, so we get a chord, we can control the decay. We can control the color. Low pass. High pass. Right, we can even modulate this. I have here two sample and hold modules that will generate um, stepped random signals. Right, so one will control the decay. One will control the color. Right, I will add some delay to this. I have here the delay for Muse X. Now again, we can also control each voice individually. Right here I have the Euclidean sequencer from Count Modular. Let me solo this. Right, this is triggering the resonators. And now I have here also four expanders, right? In the right click menu of the sequencer, you can add a CV expander. So I added four of them and each of them is sequencing its own resonator. Right, and um, I'm using here the wet output, which is also polyphonic. So you see we have four channels of polyphony, one for each resonator, and I'm using here the Bassmaster Junior, just to spread the voices left and right in the stereo field. Right, and now the decay, the color, and the gain um, CV inputs are also completely polyphonic. So again, we can control each voice individually. What I have here, I have the Quad LFO from Serge XT. Again, in the right click menu, I can choose the number of channels um, of polyphony. In this case, I have it set to four because again, we have four resonators. So now, for example, I can modulate the decay per voice, the color per voice, and the gain um, again per voice. So some will be louder, some will be softer. So again, we have polyphony also for the CV inputs. Here I have also a bass. Again, the sound itself is coming from the resonator. So I'm triggering it with, again, with the trigger sequencer and then processing it with chorus, distortion, a filter, some modulation. There is also a delay here. Right, and each resonator is tuned differently and we get this nice bass voice. And just for fun, I have you also some drums with two plates. Another signal we can use is stepped voltage, like for example from a sequencer. And the nice thing here is that we will also get velocity variation, we will get lots of dynamics. Here I have a few sequences chained with a step sequencer plus from Secret Cell. Um, you can see on the scope, right? Basically, we get voltage that goes up and down, like from any other sequencer. But again, if I use this to excite the resonators, right, we get softer hits when the voltage is lower. So the input is quite dynamic. 
I will add some delay to this. And this works, um, this works quite nicely also with random voltage or random stepped voltage. Right here I have a um, holder again from Secret Cell. You can see in the scope, basically we get stepped random voltage. Um, I'm using here the chord key to set the frequencies right of the resonator. So if again I use this to excite it, Again, we get quite a dynamic sound, dynamic voice. Here I have a bass. I'm using the Benjolin oscillator, which is basically also a sequencer. You can see the output here on the scope. Right, I'm using the Benjolin to again excite the resonators and two of the expanders of Benjolin, the volts expanders, again in the right click menu. Um, right, you can add the expanders and I'm using them for modulation, the decay, and the color, and this will give us a sort of a bass sound. Right, again, quite dynamic. And just for fun, I have here another line or a sort of a melody with the Evo sequencer, sequencing the FM3 VCO. Of course, going through a reverb, and then distortion, and then filter, right? Something else you might want to try is exciting the resonators with drums. Here I have a snare, a hi-hat, and a sort of a rim shot sequenced by the topograph um, sequencer. And I'm mixing them, this will go and will excite the resonators. For now this is the dry sound. Right, and this is how it will sound like with the resonators. Right, so we get something quite interesting, and of course we can also modulate the mix and create a sort of a hybrid sound. So we'll take it all the way down, I have here the step sequencer from Secret Cell that I will use to sequence the mix. Right, so again we get something much more interesting, I will add again some delay to this. Now this can work quite nicely also with um, one dynamic voice. Here I have Tremor 2 sequenced by the Euclidean sequencer and I'm using random voltage as a sort of a modulation to modulate all sorts of things here on Tremor 2. This is how it will sound like dry. Right, and now I'm going to send a copy of it to the resonators again to excite them. This is going also through some distortion. Right, so we get a nice bass voice that will follow the dynamics of Tremor 2 in this case. This just needs a nice ARP. I have here the chord key generating a chord and the ARPSEC arpeggiating it, the voice itself is the FM operator through the tree delay. Another thing you might want to try that can be quite interesting is using noise to excite the resonators. Here I have noise plethora. I will just send noise again directly to the input. And then in this case I will bring in just three resonators. With a filter of the noise or noise plethora I can shape the sound. Right, and I can modulate it. I have here the LLFO from Bog Audio. I have here also three sequences, and again in this case we have three resonators, so I can sequence them separately. I have here three sequences with different lengths and different clock divisions. I'm just going to send this polyphonically to the resonators. Right, so now each of them is also being sequenced separately. And what I will do, I have here Nimbus, which is a clouds clone, basically it will granulize the sound. 
Right, and I will add also some reverb to this with Galaxy from Sapphire. Take the levels a bit up. Right, so we have a nice crunchy sound, again just using noise directly to excite the resonators. Now noise plethora is also this gritty output, this will basically output bursts of voltage um, and this works also really nicely with the resonators. So here I have another one that I'm just going to excite again with this output here. I will solve this for a second. Right, if I take the chorus, I have here a chorus and distortion and a mixer and a filter, sorry. So this is how it will sound like dry. Right, through the resonators, just a burst of... a burst of burst of noise. <laughs> So with the filter and the distortion and the chorus, it will sound more or less like this. Nice drone. Maybe also a sub bass, just with a sine wave, also droning. And I have here another voice. In this case, I'm crossfading between white and pink noise with the X um, fade or X fade from VCV. Right, so white noise and pink noise both will give me different colors, different um, timbres. And again, I'm just using this directly to excite the resonators. I'm tuning, to, I'm tuned to different intervals. This is going through delay and reverb. drone just with noise exciting the resonators and another thing I have here is um, just a sequence with the phrase sequencer sequencing the FM operator and before I unmute this um, thank you again so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it cheers